Hi, and welcome to this week's podcast as a stage manager for Fern. At the start of the week, I had a meeting with the set designer about what tasks needed to be completed and what days they needed to be completed by. This means that everything will be able to be constructed by the get-in. This was so important as we needed to know what needs to be done so that everyone knows what needs to be completed by each day so that everything is done and this makes sure that everything will be done in time. I then started by having a meeting with the sound designer as he'd finished all of his cues and this was important that we work together to put them in the correct places in the script. This then means that I would be able to see the cues and practice calling them for the production. This also means that there's less for me to do in the tech as I would already have the sound cues in my prompt copy, saving me valuable time and giving me more time to focus on the LX cues. I then this week had a meeting with the costume designer where we went through all of the costumes and made sure that they were all sourced and had arrived. A few of the items had yet to be arrived so we spoke to the production manager for him to chase these up to see when they would arrive and make sure they would arrive in time for the productions. This is when we also saw that some things may be needed to be reordered so we ordered some extra things and made sure that everyone had complete costumes. After that I turned my focus on to set and making sure that everything was being constructed that needed to be. This included painting the flats a light brown and then dry brushing a darker brown over the top of them to make sure they looked old and grey for the aesthetic that the set designer was after. I also attached the steering wheel to the tractor. I did this by attaching a piece of 2x2 two two timber on the top of the tractor cut with a diagonal 45 degree angle. I then drilled this in to the top of the tractor and drilled it through a massive hole through the steering wheel and the piece of the wood. I then used a hammer to hammer the bolt into the steering wheel so this would make sure that the steering wheel was able to turn and work like a normal steering wheel. This then was added to the tractor as it made it more clear that it was supposed to represent. I also painted the tractor and stained it a darker brown as it needed to make it look old and match the overall vision for the set, otherwise the tractor would have looked out of place when it came to the get-in with the rest of the set around it. I also had our weekly production meeting with the director, which was really successful. We were discussing the final details in the show and final questions about the production. We also made sure that we had got everything that she requires for the get-in. This was important as we were always making sure that we were matching her vision. If there was anything that she needed desperately, we could try and accommodate that. One thing that was addressed is the TV. The production manager suggested that we bought a TV that works rather than projecting on an old TV. This then meant that me and the LX team were phoning up different companies seeing when we would be able to source this item. We found one that wasn't far away and was really cheap and also meant that we could get it that day. This is then when me and one of the LX designers went to the place and sourced it, bringing it back to the Boa Theatre. This was really important to make sure that we had time to check it and make sure that it would work before the get-in, before there was time so that we wouldn't have to go and source another. And that is what I did this week as a stage manager for Fenn.